The 2019 Toledo Rockets softball season was one for the history books. The Toledo Rockets battled their way through MAC tournament play and went on to claim their first ever Mid-American Conference title in program history. The 2020 season was much different. Their season cut short after just 23 games, not giving them a chance to defend the MAC crown. Honestly, it was surreal. So um, the day before like our season got canceled, we were loading up the van to go play in Florida and we get an email, oh, school's canceled for two weeks. And we're like, cool, we're just gonna have softball for two weeks, go back, chill, awesome. And then we go to play the next day and we're in between our double header and the Big Ten had just canceled their um, season. And then we're about to play Indiana and we're like, oh my gosh, like we're next, this is probably our last game. And then the moment we finished that game, our athletic trainer came up to us and was like, our season was canceled. And that was just the heaviest like blow to the heart. Um, we had a really good team dynamic going into the season and stuff. And we were looking really good to start MAC play. And it was just a blow to the heart. It was very confusing in the moment, and it was just very shocking and very like, what is happening? It was hard to wrap your head around, especially, I think, I don't think it hit me until we were flying home and realizing that after that, we weren't gonna practice again, we weren't gonna play again, we were literally gonna go home within a day or two. So that's kind of how it affected me. It just, you know, it didn't really hit me, I would say, yeah, until probably we were at home, and then I was packing up to go home. <laughs> It was kind of hard to believe because, I mean, none of us have ever experienced anything like that before. And we're down in Florida. You know, it's not like we're here in Toledo. So we're down there. We're in the middle of playing games. And even though you know that uh, that it's real, it, it's still hard to believe. It's like, well, no, we're going to get back up north and play games, even though you know you're not. So like Aaron said, it really was surreal. I mean, I think it was that way for pretty much all the athletes on, in all the different spring sports around the country. It, it was hard to believe, even though you know it's true. Now two years removed from that MAC title run, Coach Abraham and his team have turned all of their focus to this season and this season only. If it were last year, you know, we might look at that a little bit more, but it's two years ago now. It's, you know, and yes, we have a decent number of the same players and so do some of the other teams, but it's so long ago. It's, it's to be honest, it's not even a thought anymore. And that's not really the way that I coach, is to look back, well, we're MAC cha defending champs, or they've got us ranked seventh. Uh, I and, and me and the coaching staff, we won't even bring the either one of those up with the team. It's kind of all irrelevant. I know it's coach speak to say, you know, we look at what's in front of us and one day at a time, but it's really true. That That's literally what we do. I, I'm not looking back at those games two years ago or even last year. I, I mean, it's great what happened, but as it pertains to this year, I don't care. So all that stuff, I don't care about. All I care about is playing the games and what happens on the field. This UT softball squad is much different heading into this season. Still plenty of talent from that 2019 title team, but also a much younger team. And for this group of upperclassmen, the expectations are the same. I would say there's a little bit of confidence knowing that we still have a lot of girls um, that were on that team that won that championship. But we also do have a lot of new girls. So it's still like, like I said, you have that confidence, but you also know you got something to prove because you do have a lot of new people on the team, a lot of good talent, and you want to showcase that. I would say it's a pretty balanced team and we do have a lot of uh, new freshmen and we have a couple of transfers. Um, and so far from what I've seen from scrimmages from the fall and from the spring starting out here, I would say we're very, very well balanced. We have a lot of good talent in the younger girls and a lot of um, really good talent um, and upperclassmen as well. These girls are made of steel. They have so much pressure on them, but in inner squad and everything, you would have no idea. They go up there, you would not be able to pick out the freshmen from the upperclassmen. They have nerves of steel, it's impressive. I think with the MAC preseason poll ranking us seventh, we're kind of coming in with a chip on our shoulder. Like, um, reigning MAC champs isn't so much on our mind, but as coming back and giving as strong of an outing as we can and competing for that MAC championship to the best of our abilities.